Hey everyone, it's Keith McGinnis here with KCDC Designs out of Eagle, Nebraska. So when we tell customers that our job is to bring your vision to life, they're going to send us an inspiration photo of what their vision is. My first thought was, yeah, right. So challenge accepted. I started to create a couple sample boards to try to find the right mix, the right match. That's what I came up with, and I think we nailed it. They really, really liked it, and here's the sample board that I created. Let me show you how I did it. So first of all, we need to start off with some undertones. Undertones are the visual interest, and to me that's a really, really important part. So for the undertones, I'm going to be using titanium white, white pearl, white metallic. Uh, those are going to be my undertones. So we're going to get those laid out, and I'm going to kind of put those in somewhat of a linear or a striated fashion, if you will, because the veins are going to be in that direction as well. Otherwise, I could marble the whole thing to give it a marbled look, but this is kind of the look I wanted to go with. What I did discover is that bright white, that titanium white, that's really, really what helped the pearl and the white metallic really jump out. It's not something you see from a distance, but when you stand over the top or get close to the customer's countertop, that's when you really see that visual interest and see those undertones. So for me, that's a really important part of starting with a, a good, strong base. Now I'm going to take my... Phantom Black, which is a just resin color, and here's where your creative oh, thoughts come in, I guess, of how you're going to run your veins, where you're going to put them, do you want them wide, do you want them narrow? I was kind of going by the pictures that they sent to me, and I like having a part of the design rolling off of the edge of the customer's countertop, and even in the uh, customer's countertop that I created, how I had those veins kind of running into that sink area, I think it just adds, um, it's just a really cool feature in, in my opinion, trying to make it look natural. So I want this area to be solid black. That's why I'm spending some time here with, with getting that whole area black. I don't want a whole lot of marbling in there because I want to keep that kind of a solid black before I start adding in uh, my gold veins and those gold highlights. <clears throat> so I'm taking my black, I'm getting it added in there. Uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to mix up kind of a dirty pour. I'm going to take that black and the gold that I'm using, what I discovered is I wanted to try to find a gold that was going to remain on the surface and remain shiny and, and, and really give that elegant look as what you saw in uh, the customer's inspiration photo. And what I found worked really well was Rust-Oleum uh, metallic spray paint and it is the bright shiny gold and and that's what remains on the surface so I got enough black on here and now I'm just using my hand very very lightly because I don't want to bring the pearl and the white into that and I'm just trying to get that into a solid black um, and I guess you just kind of got to go with the flow when you start putting this down of, of what you think looks good um, with stone coat epoxy, which again, I feel is the best on the market, with the amount of open time that I have, I know I don't need to be in a rush. So I'm going to speed this up a little bit through here as I'm figuring out where I want to put um, the, the heavy black veins and, uh, and, and where I want those black areas to be. Okay, so I mixed up a little bit more black because I'm going to make a little bit of a dirty pour. So I'm going to take some of my black, I can't set this on the table so i got to do a little bit off camera here, but we'll take a little bit of black, we're going to add a little bit of the gold spray paint, I'm going to, that's my dirty pour, there's black, gold, black, gold, black, gold, black, gold, combination, but as you can see that gold floats, so I'm going to give that one stir. And then before it settles, I'm going to pour some of this out, and we'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and let's pour, let's put a little bit over here on the corner. Then I'm going to take a little bit, and we'll pour just a little bit down here. All right, now I'm just going to meld those in. Boy, I know you can't see them, but I think I'm going to use my uh, little spatula. 
and we'll meld this one just so maybe I don't mix it up. So on one of the practice pieces I did, I used my hand to meld that gold in and I, I just didn't like the way that it worked. And so these cheap little tools, I bought a whole set. Um, I think I got them at Walmart. And, and again, they were really cheap, but it, it, it just gives you another option and, and kind of another tool to use. And it ended up working really well to be able to kind of spread out that gold the way I wanted it to without kind of digging too deep uh, by using my hand. All right, now I'm going to get some of that gold spray paint in my Dixie cup. Let's get some poured out along here. You probably can't tell by the picture, but uh, I'm squeezing that Dixie cup really tight because that gold runs out very quickly, and it's okay if it comes out in drops because you're going to spread it out. All right, I'm going to again take my fancy little tool here, and I'm going to meld this down through there. And then I'm going to take some of that and swirl that. Here's where we talk a lot about patience. And so those swirls I'm putting in there, you really have to be patient to let everything start to flow. But that's what those swirls look like. And they're not going to look like that when you first put them in there. So again, you just have to be patient. Uh, that gold is going to stay very liquid for, for quite a while and, and allow you time to work it. So as I continue to add in the gold, I also get asked, how do you know where to put the veins, how many veins, what direction? And that's really a matter of just kind of studying, I guess, the different types of marbles, different types of stones, um, and, and being very important to remember to always take a step back from your project and, and get an overall look at it to see how you think everything is flowing together. So this uh, gold spray paint is a little bit different than the fast dry, which is like the chrome and the silver, because that fast dry actually does dry very, very fast. All right, I gotta get something in here to kind of accent this a little bit. So let's say, I'm gonna pour some gold in here. Now let's say I get some gold in there and I go to meld that out. And then I look at that and think, holy cats, whoa, way overdid it with the gold. Way overdid it with the gold. How am I going to fix that? So let's take some of our black and let's drizzle some black in there. <laughs> I made up way too much black. And let's just meld that back in again. Okay, that looks really pretty. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my dirty pour. And add just a little bit of that in there. And then I'm just going to leave that alone. So that actually turns out pretty good and looks pretty good. Once again, I'll speed, the, I'll speed it up a little bit in here as I'm adding in the gold. <clears throat> but you can see how I'm adding it in there. And then I'm taking that little spatula and just kind of moving that around. All right, that's about it. I don't think I'm going to do too much more to it. All right, I really like that. Let's do a flyover. So as we do a flyover and a little bit of a recap and, and get some close-ups, <clears throat> For one, take a look at those undertones, the, the, the titanium white and the white metallic and the pearl white, how those really stand out and it really, really adds a lot to the design and it kind of brings out the elegance, if you will. Um, also, how I added that gold in, how I kind of swirled that a little bit with that little plastic spatula I had. And one of the things that I didn't mention, see those little linear accents that I have in there? While I was kind of creating those veins. And while I had some of that black and that gold on my little spatula, I ran those little accent veins um, kind of in those, those white and pearl undertones just to add kind of another element. And then also the gold that I used, because it remains on the surface, look at when the glare hits it, how it really pops and really just kind of gives it another look of elegance. 
Um, there's some of the swirling in there, and then also that little dirty pour that I made. That was really cool. There's some right there that you can see in that larger vein, but it really turned out pretty. Um, the customers were blown away. They absolutely love it. Uh, when we got it installed into their bar area, it looked absolutely amazing. So I was really happy with it. I had to think a little bit outside the box on this one, but uh, really, really turned out nice. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments below. If you have any questions, any comments, I'd love to hear them, uh, any feedback. And once again, this is Keith McGinnis with KCDC Designs. Thanks, everybody, and we'll see you on the next video.